So if I can just offer you just a little bit of encouragement. There is somebody who is behind the scenes pulling the strings. And, and I believe what his word says, and his word says that all things work together for the good. Yeah. 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 Of those that love the Lord to which according to, according to his purpose. And, and is there anybody in here on this morning who says, I'm, I'm in his will? I'm in his will. But you can't be in his will if you're not in his word. Does anybody say, I'm in his word? I'm in his word. And basically, when, when you got his word on the inside of you, what happens is that when you feel like giving up, hmm. some reason it seems like that they say that that word, it, it quickens you. And then in certain texts, quicken means to come alive. So when you feel like that, when that word quickens you, it makes you come alive. It, it's, I think Jeremiah says, like, fire. Shut up in my bones. Yes. I know we got a social distance, but is there anybody in here who can just, just just get loose for just a quick quick second and just give your God some praise in this place? Because I, I understand what's out there, but this is not a death sentence because God has given us a life sentence. Is there anybody in here who God has spoken a lot over you? And if he wants you through that, he will bring you through this. Um, okay, okay, okay. Um, Hezekiah, by definition, means Yahweh has strengthened. Uh -huh. Yahweh is one of those names that, that is, it wasn't really used that often in another form of Yahweh is Yah, and another form of Yah is Jehovah, another way of Jehovah is Lord, another way of Lord is God. So I don't want to lose anybody. Right? But 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 but, but Yah has strengthened. Yes. And basically, uh, uh when they threw names on children, they they, they want to go in prayer. They didn't just want to give that baby any name. Because we wanted to make sure that when that baby got that name, that they fulfilled the purpose in the assignment attached to that name. That's right. That's right. Y'all still with me? That's right. So, 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 when, so when you say strengthen, that means past tense. Y'all has strengthened, which means God has already provided me strength. So watch this, right? Um, the book teaches us in those days Hezekiah became ill and it was at the point of death. The prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, went to him and said, this is what the Lord says. Put your house in order because you are going to die and you will not recover. Meaning that this sickness is unto death. Verse 2, Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. All right. You say, well, which direction did he go? More than likely, he went to the east. Yeah, guaranteed, guaranteed. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he pointed his face towards the direction of the temple that Solomon had built. Yeah, he, he had pointed his face towards what you call the inner courts. He, yeah. he pointed his face to that place called the Holy of Holies. Yes, because he knew that, listen, based on what I got, based on what's happening to me, I need something greater than what's in me to work. So what I need is I need to find out how can I get in the direction to talk to God. So watch this. He says, remember, Lord, how I have walked before you faithfully and wholehearted devotion and have done what is good in your eyes. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. Now, there's so, certain different ways of looking at this, right? But my first point, if you write this down, first point, number one, is turning point. First point, if you're writing it down, is turning point. And we all have a turning point in our lives. We are going to turn for the worse, or we're going to turn for the better. Some of us, we will stop right there. We'll take the death sentence, get the house in order, and we done. Has a kind of, I think I can relate to this. Meaning that, what's the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen? If I go back to God, he didn't say, listen, I said, I need you to go talk to God for me. He said, let, let me do this. Let me, let me give my face to the wall. Yeah, let, me, let, me give my, let me get myself in a position, in a posture to where I ain't got no distractions. And I ain't worried about who, who watching 
me. I ain't worried about who listening. And I heard people say, well, you don't want to pray out loud because you don't want Satan to hear everything you have to say. And I'm saying to myself, if Satan mm -hmm. that he can interrupt with me and God got going on, let him try. Is there anybody here that saying, I know he hears my prayers. Mm -hmm. I know he hears my mm -hmm. prayers. I know he's the one that's been walking with me. I know he's the one that, I wish the devil would. Is there anybody in here? Oh. Amen. Huh. 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 Man, I'm telling you, I'm not talking about anybody in here, but there's some folks that will mess a new Christian up. <laughs> you don't want to pray out loud. Well, tell the Lord what you want. I don't want to tell him. I don't know how to tell him. He knows my thoughts, but did you tell him? Well, I don't know what to do, but the thing is, I, I, I'm like Hezekiah. I want more time. So watch this. But, 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 but he calls the guys, remembers his devotion. He calls the guys, remembers how he walked. And I can only imagine how many of us can go back and say, hold up, God. That's right. Hold up, hold up. I know I'm in a drought right now. Uh, I know my business ain't making money right now. But, 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 and they tell me that I'm going to get a forgiveness loan if I apply for this and if I apply for that. But I don't want no loan. I don't want no loan. You gave me this business. You gave me this idea. You gave me this concept. You put this fire in my belly. So what I want to do is when this pandemic is over, I want to be able to work with the youth. So I started telling people what I was thinking. Pastor Gunny, no lie, we raised $4,000 in a pandemic. And you said, well, how did you do that? Facebook, <laughs> Instagram, and Twitter. Yes, sir. Y'all can't get happy. <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm the only person that God can do this for. No. But 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 you want me to get alone in hopes that when this pandemic passes over, that I may not have to pay it back. When I picked up people's kids, they ain't put no gas in the car. Made sure their kids ate, then trained, then took them back home. Mama one home so I gotta sit outside, wait for the mama here home until they get out of the car. That's the behind the scene. Yeah. Yeah. That's the behind the scene, that boy. Yeah. 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 But what I'm saying is, is this. Listen, when God has put something in you, even though there's a, a pandemic on the outside, you can't let the pandemic be on the inside. Amen. The term psychosomatic. Psycho means psych, or not psycho, psych means mind. Somatic means the body, soul, the body. So basically, psychosomatic, meaning that there's people who don't even have coronavirus, but then they gave themselves coronavirus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You done misdiagnosed yourself. Yeah, yeah. And what they're saying is that, listen, this is an upper respiratory infection that can lead to death. So what do we do? We sit at home and we find ways not to work out. We find ways not to do anything healthy. We find ways not to eat anything healthy. So what we do, we diagnose ourselves a death sentence. So that when we get out of this pandemic, we're going straight to the emergency room. Yeah. What happened to him? He killed himself. <laughs> and, and I'm not, listen, I want to make sure that this is not an endorsement. I just want to let you know, I was thinking that it's amazing how the church is not considered essential, but you can get some fine wine and spirits. Uh, all right, all right. Say that and again. You, this is an upper respiratory infection, and then you understand that when you get that look in your system, you feel good at the moment. But then that liquor turns into sugar, it starts breaking down everything, everything. that your body uses to fight for you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, uh, Preach. Okay. Preach. Turn Preach. The you either going to turn for the worse huh. or you're going to turn for the better. Amen. Hezekiah turned his face to the wall. Um, and then in the Bible, I just want you to know that there's good kings and then there's some evil kings. Uh, good kings would be like David, Solomon, Asa, Jehoshaphat, Josiah, and Hezekiah. They had a walk that pleased God. Not saying that they did everything perfect, right. but they had a resume that said, okay, I know what they believe. I know what they stand for. <laughs> With that turning point, 2 Kings 24 through 6, it says, Before Isaiah had left the middle court, the word of the Lord came to him. 
Go back and tell Hezekiah, the ruler of my people, this is what the Lord, the God of your father David says. I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will heal you. Hmm. This man was crying. And, and I don't believe that this was a fashionable tear. I believe that this is the type of tear that we tell black men, listen, suck that up. Stop being so sensitive. I mean, I'm not saying all black men, but that's what I was told when I was growing up. Yeah. Stop being so sensitive. Stop being so emotional. But then they out here killing each other. They kill each other because they're so sensitive. And they're being all emotional. Back to the text. It says, on the third day from now, you will go up to the temple of the Lord, and I will add 15 years to your life, and I will deliver you and this city from the hand of the king of Assyria. I will defend this city for my sake and for the sake of my servant David. Number two. Number two. Number one is turning point. You either going to turn for the worse, you're going to turn for the better. By him, putting his face to that wall and crying out to God yes, and serving God wholeheartedly uh -huh. and faithfully. Uh -huh. Now, I don't know all the members of Mount Sinai. I don't. I would love. This pandemic has given me an opportunity to know people on a more personal level. Right? And, and I thank God that this pandemic gave me an opportunity to get to know people outside of Sunday. Uh -huh. Because I'm not with you seven days a week. But it it'd be funny for somebody to say, oh, that's the youth pastor at Mount Sinai, but they've never seen him at the church. Like, okay, he's a youth pastor, but he's not faithful. The resume don't look good. Does that make sense? This has nothing to do with anybody. But Mark, it's like a deacon. A whole year goes by and nobody's ever seen you. That, obviously, we see you. Or I can use you as a point of reference. That's not a good resume. Does that make sense? That makes sense. That makes sense. See, son, no. And, 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 and it's, it's like a father who says, my family goes to this church. But, but, but you never see them. It's, that's not a good resume. So when you're in panic mode and you start pulling on stuff and you're expecting God to move in a fast and an urgent and quick way, it's hard for God to move when you ain't gave him something to work with. Or a mother who says, this is where I bring my babies. This is where I'm raising my young men. This is where I'm raising my daughters. But then you never see them. It's a, it's a, the resume don't match. All right. Um, and, and I'm not talking about anybody. Preach. I don't know you on that level. I'm just using that as an example. Preach. All right. Because of Hezekiah's commitment, because I don't want this thing to be like, like, oh, I'm going to go play my, my numbers. I'm going to play my numbers with God, and I'm going to see what God is going to do with this. I'm going to see how he's going to work, and it doesn't work like that. Work like that. Mm -hmm. This man was able to go back from his youth mm -hmm. to his present. To put that on the line, and then God moved on his behalf. Mm, mm. All right, number two, space plus time equals opportunity. Space plus time equals opportunity. What's the second point? Space plus time equals opportunity. Space plus time equals opportunity. So basically, there's a lot of people who have space, but they ain't got no time. Then there's people who have time, but they ain't got no space. But if I got space, if I got space and I got time, you got opportunity. then I got opportunity to give my God some praise. Amen. 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 Good, good. See, see, the work is done when, I, when, I, when we leave here, but, but, but if I got space and I got time, and, and, and what happens is that when we're going through stuff, we forget that we got space and we got time, and then you got space and you got time, God inhabits the praises of his people. That means that God makes himself manifest wherever his people give him praise, they give him a substance to work with, is that anybody in there will give your God some praise, and people say, why are you praising like you do? It don't take all that. <laughs> well, you don't know how you far I pray. pray. I may not be where I want to be, but I thank God I ain't where. Is there anybody in here who says that there have not been yes. for the Lord? Yes. Yes. yes.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I want to my third point in closing. Uh, 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 the first point is turning point. The second point is space plus time equals opportunity. And my third point is time on the clock. Time on the clock. Uh-oh. And, and, and for a sports analogy, uh, one of the challenges is, is that I hear a team say, man, it was close. Man, it was close. We, we only, it was real close. We, we, we only lost by three points. We only lost by seven points. And, and, and that's why you, you, you can't wait till the fourth quarter to show what you got. Yeah. That's right. And, and, and there, there's people who, who, who got a great voice, but because they, they didn't use that voice when they had it. Uh, this, is, this is what the, the Reverend um, Al Green said. He said, uh, he says, uh, uh, what, what God takes away, can't no man give it back. Uh-huh. But what God gives, no man can take, no man can take away. Amen. Amen. And, and I said, all right, well, maybe he, he might know what he's talking about. <laughs> and, and the thing is that there's some people that's going to leave this earth and and they haven't fulfilled any purpose. Uh, uh -oh. And 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 and, and, and uh, I told uh, my, my oldest daughter Navi, I said, "Baby, I'm not going to beat you for making a bad grade, but I will beat you for being lazy." Uh oh. Big difference. Big Because I understand that there's certain comprehensions that may take a little bit of time. Right. But if you ain't put no time in the work. And I'm paying this phone bill, Pastor. I'm paying this phone. I'm just saying. Are you can TikTok. What? What in the world? What? And you can make slime from nothing. Like Jesus. Breathing the man in him. You can, you can make slime from nothing. You know, and, and I'm looking at, I'm saying, hold up. I'm not gonna, I just want you to know, I'm not gonna beat you for making a bad grade, but, but if you ain't put no work in, and if, we, we, gotta, we gotta redirect some stuff. So, 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 so the thing is, is that, that there's a lot of parents that they, they real, I, I'm seeing pictures on Facebook of people graduating from high school, but there's a lot of people who ain't seen that picture. Yeah. There's a lot of, I have seen a lot of pictures, but there's a lot of pictures I ain't seen. Right. And there's some parents who are frustrated because they're trying to figure out how in the world did you make it to 12th grade and now you ain't graduating. And the thing is, is that, that, that Hezekiah, Hezekiah had a resume that went from childhood to adulthood. And the thing is that we got to go back and, and re-examine our resume and say, hold up, there's some areas where I have some bumps, I have some hiccups, but, but, but Lord, I need you to help me along this right. way because I can't right. leave this earth not knowing that my purpose ain't been fulfilled. Amen. Amen. My work ain't done. So, 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 so watch this, watch this. Uh, 2 Kings chapter 20, verse 8 through 11. This is what it says. Hezekiah asked Isaiah, what will be the sign that the Lord will heal me, that I will go to the temple of the Lord on the third day from now? To put this in context, you could not go to the temple with ailments and sickness and disease. You were inspected. The same way Sister Smith had that thing in my forehead. Make sure I have a mask on. This is the same thing. You could not get into the temple with defects. You had to pass inspection in order to get into the temple. Even the king couldn't go up in the temple. He had to be inspected. I got to be inspected. So I need something. I know that God can heal me because you told me he would, but I need something because I can't go to this temple with, with, with these bulls. I can't go to this temple looking like this. So I need, I need, to, I need the confirmation. What would be the sign? I'm paraphrasing. Uh, Pastor, is it okay if I go to the floor? Okay. So, he said, this is going to be the sign. We're going to have, God's going to make the sun move forward 10 paces. Hezekiah said, that's too easy. He said, if God said, then make him take the, the sun dial back. And if the sun went back. And, and now, I need to, see, I need to get this. See, 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 from right here, 
This is time leaving you. But when God do this right, this is God put time on the clock. Judah 